Good evening, Robert Scribbler. It is July 5th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate and clean energy video blog. Now for this seg segment, I am going to focus in on a global warming related hotspot for the day. It's an area that we did talk a bit about in our last video blog, but we're going to focus in on northeastern Siberia, which is currently experiencing some rather extreme temperatures for an Arctic region. Now, what we're looking at presently is the Climate Reanalyzer Global Forecast System Maximum Temperatures Predicted Model Run. And the region we are looking at here is this region, which I am highlighting with my cursor. And it's showing a region of Siberia expected to experience between the mid 80s and mid 90s. And now this is northeastern Siberia land temperatures. And in the, and this is in the Fahrenheit range. So extrapolating to around 30 to 35 degrees Celsius and over ocean temperatures approaching 10 to in the near coastal zone, potentially as high as 15 degrees Celsius, which is in the 40s to 50s. And then as you get out in the ocean in the upper 30s to, to lower 40s above the Arctic Ocean, which is, which is very warm. Now I'm going to flip over to temperature anomalies so what we're seeing is up to 20 degrees Celsius or approximately around 36 degrees Fahrenheit above normal temperatures in the near Arctic Ocean coastal zone. And that's a very high departure for this time of year. And then over the ocean zones in the range of about 5 to 10 to possibly, yeah, to around 10 degrees Celsius above normal over ocean which is typical for this time of year because the ocean does tend to moderate. Now, now these are very warm temperatures for this time of year again. I'm going to uh, flip over to the jet stream analysis for the GFS to give you an idea of what's going on at the upper levels of the atmosphere. And what we have here is a very high amplitude jet stream ridge funneling all this much warmer than normal air over eastern Siberia and into the Arctic Ocean. And as we were saying before, translating onto the surface, this is, uh, these are very warm temperatures. This is in the low 40s Fahrenheit range, about 6.3 degrees Celsius. And as you get closer, you get to above 10 degrees Celsius range, which is in the uh, lower, lower 50s. And, and then as you get over land, you get into the upper 80s to lower to middle 90s, which is which is just insane for this region of Siberia. Now, I'm going to go ahead and, and give you an idea of, of what the satellite picture looks like. Now, this is, a, this is a flipped over reference in the same region. I'm going to go ahead and try and orient it to same orientation of the other maps, the temperature maps. So, so what we're looking at here is this area of clear skies, upper 80, middle, middle to upper 80s to lower 90 degree temperatures. You, you also see some wildfires burning in this region. And some of the wildfires are getting pulled up into this upper level wind flow that we described earlier. So you've got uh, dark carbon in the atmosphere that's, that's tainting the atmosphere. And I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in, give you guys an idea of what's going on at the surface at the sea ice level. Now, there's a lot of gray shift here, probably due to fog over the ocean zones and, and smog due to wildfires in the region. I'm gonna back this out a bit so we can get a little bit of clearer picture. So on July 3rd, we're looking at ice melt in the near coastal zone. This is the Eastern Siberian Sea region. Uh, by July 4th, we get a lot of the smoke and some clouds coming in here. 
and, and just more smoke and haze as we can see a lot of cracks and open water zones appearing in the sea ice as this heat just pummels into the Arctic region, into the East Siberian Sea and into the Chukchi. And, and these warm temperatures are definitely very punishing for sea ice. So we can certainly expect rapid sea ice melt in this zone over the coming days.